Hi guys, you could be forgiven for thinking I was filming at night time, but no, it's the middle of the day. It's actually so bright outside that I had to turn, or turn out all the lights, I had to close all of my blinds and use artificial lights because they were too bright. Winter lighting, guys. Hashtag blogger problems. Um, today I have a Primark haul. Um, we went to Primark, Ella and I, at the weekend and um, got some bits and pieces that we saw we liked and also some um, hopeful pieces for potentially the new house. So, big bag of stuff. It's always fun when you go with um, the children, I feel like, because it's a little bit like when you take them to um, Poundland and you tell them they can have whatever they want. I mean, you don't go into Primark and tell them they can have whatever they want. But when they see little things that they like, oftentimes it's like a pound or one pound fifty, and you, you, it feels like a real treat and it's not as expensive as like, you know, walking around Debenhams, for example. Um, so one of the things that we saw, Milo wasn't with us, but Ella saw this for him, which I thought was really cute, was this. It's a little door hanger. This was actually two pounds. Um, and it says, Wizards welcome. I love it so much. Milo, oh, it's just like through the keyhole. Who would live in a house like this? Harry Potter, maybe. Um, Milo's obsessed with Harry Potter. We started watching it all in the lead up to us going to the Warner Brothers studio tour. And after that, he was just like, couldn't get enough. So he's going to love this. Um, whether we move or not, he's going to love this. Um, I think I'm, I'm filming so many videos up in advance. And if you want a more real time, because what I'm planning to do is film all of my videos for December before December. So if you want a more real time idea of what's going on, uh, you can go and check out my vlogs because I do plan to be doing Vlogmas. So I should have, you, you'll know way more if you're watching those because I'm way, way behind at this point in, in the back to the future situation. Uh, Ella saw these and I couldn't resist. They are Mickey Mouse baubles. Now archery isn't exactly this. Archery is kind of um, silver and white and pale gold. But this was the best that we could get, and so I thought we'd gonna just make it work. I love them so much. Mickey Mouse head baubles, and they're all sparkly, and they were four pounds. Um, we got some socks. I'm actually wearing the other pair of these. They were all mild, different white and blue colors, and I wouldn't recommend them. These, I've got like, they're not like, like look at that, you can see through them. If you can see, look. They're not proper thick socks. They're actually a really loose weave, and so they don't really keep me warm. It's very annoying. Um, so I wouldn't recommend these. I would get the regular fluffy fluffy socks instead of these bobbly ones if I purchase them again. Just saying, because I'm wearing them right now. They're actually not that warm. Um, Ella has been really into bomber jackets recently. She got a proper bomber jacket, uh, like a coat, a more padded one, for school. Wow, we went pink then. What happened? Obviously the glittery baubles um, had an effect on the camera. Yeah, she got uh, a thick padded one for a school jacket. I mean, that's not any good now because it's freezing outside. Maybe it's not, this is like two weeks ago. Um, maybe it's glorious sunshine, probably not. So she saw this and it was in the sale, I think. Yeah, it was 18 pounds down to 10 um, in the adult section and I got it in, in a six. And it fit her perfectly, how cute is that? She actually hated bomber jackets, it's hilarious. She she likes just regular black ones, but if you remember that red one that I got from H&M, which I'm totally gonna wear at Christmas, guys, maybe. Um, she wore that as a makeshift Harley Quinn costume because the one that I bought her didn't fit. You may have seen the vlog. The one that I bought her didn't fit and I had to kind of just cobble together something last minute. And she wore that and so many people complimented her on this embroidered jacket that she was like, I really want one now. It's actually still in her bedroom. Um, so when we saw this, she really, really liked it. Although seriously, I can't imagine it ever being warm enough again to wear this because it's so thin. But that was 10 pounds in the sale. Oh, I bought something. I forgot about this. I've, this has just been kind of hanging out, waiting for me to make this video. Oh, I'm excited now, something for me. This is like a little leopard print funnel necky doodah. Oh, I can wear this for work tomorrow, bonus. Um, I'm really into this half turtleneck. What do we call this now, high neck? I don't know, there's a word. What is it called, roll neck? But it's not a roll neck, because it's just slightly high. So like a funnel neck, maybe? Um, and I really like that because I've got a really round face and not a defined jaw. What's the opposite of a defined jaw? A, a non-defined jaw? I just like a round face. I've just got not got a lot of this going on. Really rounded and um, it's not particularly flattering when I have something that goes all the way up to there and then I just have face. It's not cute. So these, anything where it's a big baggy funnel neck and it comes down and you can see a bit of my neck or these, where it's just slightly shorter, I really like these. I think they're really chic looking. Um, and I don't know, I just really like them. There's one from H&M that I wear all the time. It's green, 
highly recommend it. And this is Leopard. Ella basically said she liked it as long as it wasn't a turtleneck. And then I showed her what it was. She was like, I hate it. So I had to buy it because everybody knows if your child doesn't like it, that means it's amazing. Ella picked this because she wants a rose gold theme in her new bedroom, which I'm just making my peace with. I'm going to redo the kids' bedrooms if we don't move so that the little bits of excitement that they've gathered from us talking about, because they can't get away from talking about maybe moving and we don't, it's very complicated, just the vlogs. Um, and so I thought in the new year, I will just redo the bedroom. So I allowed her to buy a few bits and pieces and this was one of them. She wanted a rose gold theme and that was three pounds. Um, and she also got for her bedroom, because she's gonna have a single bed. She has a double right now. Um, this duvet set, which I thought was quite cute. It's all kind of palm trees. Um, I suppose, is it palm trees? It's leaves, it might be like fern. It doesn't have to be palm trees, I suppose, but that's what I saw it as. Um, and that was nine pounds as a single. Then, the main thing that we actually went into Primark for was super cozy tights. Because uh, Ella obviously wears skirts, well not obviously, but she won't wear trousers. I mentioned this in videos before, she will not wear trousers to school. Um, so she has to wear skirts, and so if you wear skirts, she wears these tights and it's going to be freezing. I can't imagine wearing a skirt right now without these tights. So I bought her a pair. These are the ones that have got like um, fleece lined. Um, and then I also got her, but why did we get leggings? I forget. I forget why we got leggings. Maybe just to replace her regular leggings. I don't know. So I got her velvet lined leggings. And I think I've had these before. I don't know what happened to them, but I think I have. And they've got actual velvet inside. So like actually proper fluffy inside, not just, what's the other stuff look like? Fleece. So that's what the other ones look like. Like a really soft fleece. These are lovely. I would highly recommend these. These are a bit thicker, um, but these are really nice for travel. I remember having these uh, I, I'm certain I've travelled with these, like, I had them on on a plane before. See, see, it's awesome. Um, but they are quite thick. I've worn these underneath jeans as well when it's been very, very cold. So I've got her those for her normal leggings and we'll see. I got her them in small and medium, but they're both adult sizes, so they might be way, way, way too large. Um, the cosy ones were 3 50 and the velvet lined ones were £6. And then, last couple of bits. cards so Ella's got these little cards that look like this on the back there are these designs and they were a pound and then she saw these ones and thought Milo would like them and these are like um Avengers is that right are they Avenger guys does it say yes Avengers there's so many comic book people um Avengers and again a pound so they've got some little school cards to send to their friends and some mints that I obviously bought to have right then and there and totally forgot about there you go. Um, so now the children can have their stuff because I've made the video. That was my Primark haul. I might not do another one before Christmas. I went in there and there were so many things and I just thought, oh, I could go crazy with all the little bits and pieces of, of Christmas stuff. But in the um, thing of us maybe moving, maybe not moving, which is just driving me up the wall. I'm sure it's driving you up the wall by this point as well. We're talking about it. Um, I'm trying not to bring too much stuff in. So we went for something specific. We came away with many things that weren't fit for purpose, um, but I tried to be kind of good. And I'm definitely not bringing in a ton of clothes through the sales. I was so good in the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. Again, you can tell how long ago this was that I'm filming. Um, I didn't buy anything at all until it was about 10 o'clock on Cyber Monday. So the very, very end of everything. Um, I think Look Fantastic, we're doing three for two and 20% off, and I bought three Ole Henriksen skincare things. Um, and that was it, no clothes, no nothing. I bought a jumper for my brother for Christmas. Hope he's not watching this, he's definitely not watching this. Um, and that was it, I was so good in the sales. So I can't be uh, going back on it now and just ruining it with so many things to buy. So uh, there will probably be no more Christmassy Primark hauls. There'll be very, very few actual Christmassy videos at all because I'm trying to get into a position where I don't have to think about anything filming wise apart from vlogmas which I'm going to be doing every day in theory um, and potentially packing up the house. I think it's going to go one of two ways. I'm either going to be packing and really really busy and moving before Christmas 
Um, or I'm going to find out right at the very last minute that the house has fallen through and I'm just going to be absolutely gutted and not really feeling in the mood to film anything. Um, so I'm, I'm prepping. So, yeah! Anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble. That reminds me. Milo came home the other day and did something called a dab cross. He was on the floor and then he stood up and went like this. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, dab cross. And he keeps doing it. What's this all about, guys? Dab cross. I'm too old for this. I have no idea. And then Ella came home and was like, what's your brother doing? She went, oh, it's a thing. Dab cross. I don't know. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.